Ladies and gentlemen, Sarah Palin. Thank you so much. Flying in, you know, we're over your snow-capped hills. I, I think you call it mountains? Coming from Alaska. So the president was here last week too, huh? I, he was getting his Rocky Mountain high on. Busy week for him. Let us learn from history. During the Great Depression, President Roosevelt, he spoke about the forgotten man, the man at the bottom of the totem pole, the man who FDR said he wanted to help with his New Deal. But as Emmett e. Schles wrote, mm, government, big government under that New Deal, the policies hurt more than they helped. They made the Depression last longer and unemployment even worse. Sound familiar? Benghazi. President got us into a war with Libya without congressional approval. Our ambassador there begged for security and was ignored and then murdered when the consulate was attacked as predicted by savage Muslim terrorists. Well, Congress refused or declined to pass the DREAM Act. Remember, they, they didn't want amnesty. They knew the people didn't want amnesty. So, no DREAM Act. But the Dream Weaver, he waved his magic wand, and Obama unilaterally enacted his own. And the gangbangers and the terrorists, they will be mixed in there. And we're offering to take care of them. I, I think it's insane. The little guy that might not afford a seat at the table of the foo foo she she fancy fundraisers, but Mr. Attorney General, he needs to use his noggin and answer what's to account then for the anti Obama policy protests going on today in black communities and in Hispanic circles and on reservations and in my own home. You know, we had a revolution back in 1776 because we don't do kings. <laughs> don't let anybody tell you to sit down and shut up. Go rogue, if you gotta go rogue. Get out there and fight for what is right and you know what is right, look down the road. So God bless you. And God bless the United States of America.